We'll go back to the 1941 undefeated football team. The 1941 football team was coached by the legendary Ed Riefsteck, and as I said earlier, his son is here today. Included Hall of Famers like Vince Boomer Scott, who's also inducted into the Hall of Fame. And you'll hear names like Ionello, Strobel, Alexander, Privateer, Carmichael, Harrington, Longany, Ryder, Lap, Barone, and believe it or not, one guy named Sutherland, whose son's here today. We'll get into him in a minute. The Wackenites were a powerhouse. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to quickly read their scores. East Rochester, they beat 13 to 7. They beat Lancaster 7 to nothing. Albion 21 to 6. Oakfield 14 to 7. Medina 13 to 0. Fairport 20 to 6. Batavia 12 to 6. Batavia 12 to 6. That's 100 points versus 32 with two shutouts. That's why this team's going into the Hall of Fame. Now, because of the age of these folks, we have many of their representative family members here. I'm going to apologize already because we'll probably miss somebody because this is kind of an interesting thing when we go through this to find out everyone that's here. But the, on behalf of this team, we've asked Jimmy Macaluso, whose dad was a quarterback captain on this team, to make a response for this team. And then we're going to introduce the rest of the team members. And at that point, uh, if you're here and you represent one of those players, uh, we've got a couple guys that give you a certificate over here. So, Jimmy Mack, come on up here. By the way, you can buy a Chevrolet this afternoon, too. saw the right undefeated four out of five years. The 1941 team posted a record of 7-0, finishing undefeated and untied, did not give up more than seven points in any game, put up three shutouts, gave up a total of only 26 points for the entire season, while scoring 105. These would be considered great numbers playing in your own league against schools your own size. This team accomplished this incredible level of success against the likes of East Rochester, Batavia, Lancaster, Fairport, and others. In high school football, it's a difficult task to play up out of your class once or twice a year. This team, this team put together this incredible season, playing up in class six out of their seven games. This truly was a great football team. But it was not just the success on the football field that made this group special. These were great men. Just a few weeks after their last game, Pearl Harbor was attacked by the Japanese, and over 24 Americans lost their lives that day. Just four days later, Nazi Germany and Adolf Hitler piled on by also declaring war on America. Within a short period of time, many of these young men, still teenagers who were only a few months removed from being high school football players, were either drafted or stood in line to volunteer to put their lives on the line to defend this great nation. Within the next couple of years, most, if not all, of the underclassmen on this team would follow. It was because of them and brave men and women like them that we have our freedom today and are able to enjoy ourselves at events such as this. We will be forever indebted to them for this. It was both a privilege and an honor for me to have known most of these men personally. Through my interactions and conversations with them that spanned decades, I found there was a common thread that ran through almost all of them. For all of their personal accomplishments and personal successes, they would never talk about themselves. They would always readily talk about their teammates. They would talk about being proud of the Ben and Leroy Wacken Knights. They would talk about how proud they were to have helped build a tradition here that is second to none anywhere. And they always enjoyed watching that tradition carry on through the years. So in closing, on behalf of the 1941 Leroy Knights football team and their families, I not only want to congratulate this year's inductees, but I also want to thank you for carrying on that tradition that these men helped build some 77 years ago. Thank you.
Now, these are the people that said they were going to be here on behalf of their family members, so I'll start with those. Christine McKenzie is here for Jack O'Malley. We're going to run through these quickly, but we have a certificate over here if you'd like to pick one up. Dave Spike Carmichael for his uncle William George Carmichael. Karen Carmichael Doherty for her father Paul Carmichael. Mark Robinson and his brother, uh, where is he? Mark's here, I saw him for sure. He's here uh, for his uncle Bill Luttrell, great athlete. Uh, Jimmy Mack, he's already met for his father Mike. And then we've got Bill Sudsy Sutherland. And now he's in every Hall of Fame in West New York but this one, so somehow he snuck his butt in the door here. Sudsy's here for his father, William Sullivan, as well. Sons, where are you? Come on, get up here. Come on down, get this thing, Sons, come on. Great coach, great athletic director, all around. Margaret Ann Norton, Patrick Longany, and, and her family for Francis Longany. And I can tell the Longany is sitting right there, he looks just like the old man. So somebody come on down and do this. Jimmy Arrington's here for his brother, Sam, and John Arrington. Michelle Fuller and family for Vito Masidi. Yvonne Kelson for Father John Shewing and Uncle Edward Shewing. And Nate Wright for his grandfather, Jack Wright. Now here are some other names. Don't know if they're family members here. If they're here, come on up and get one. Harold Alexander, James Ionello, Harry Strobel, Charles Alienel, Samuel Feely, Fran Privateer, Raymond Perry, Sam Barone, Fran Johnson, Vincent Iggy Scott, along with Boomer Scott. Donald Pinky Snyder. Fat McGrath, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame. We have one gentleman named Dee Munt. No one seems to remember his first name. If somebody knows that, let us know. Um, Dick Graney, Jack Jones, Edward Heeman, Charles Joy, Charlie Cavada, Robert Ho, John Stone, and Ed Lapp. That's all the ones we have. What a great honor to have that great group of men down here at the Roy Wackenite Sports Hall of Fame. Let's give them a round.